Hello friends, it's Ali dropping in to share with you a new scrapbooking layout today for the Scrapbook Nerd online scrapbooking shop. This week I have a pocket page layout to share with you again. Um, it's 6 by 8 inches and it has two pockets in it that are both 6 by 4 inches. So I'm creating um, my very own journal card. That's what I'm working on right now. I have bits and pieces of paper from simple stories that I'm using today in this layout. Um, the one in the very background, the floral one, um, I'm not sure which collection it comes from, but the yellow floral one comes from Simple Stories Wildflower. And then the last little bit of pattern paper that I'm using is actually from Coco Vanilla Studio. And it is some scrap paper that I had left over as well. Um, I think it is from... I'm not sure, I'll have to look again and uh, let you know. But I will link all the products that I use today that are still available in the shop in this description box down below so that you can have a closer peek at them if you would like. I also used my Cricut to help me get this layout created. Um, I used it to add my title and just some doodling and the journaling as well. The theme or the story that I'm sharing today in my layout is... Um, my parents golden wedding anniversary they recently just celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary and when I was planning this layout and designing it I had golden years by David Bowie stuck in my head stuck on repeat and I thought that it would be perfect for the title for my layout um sorry I should say the lyrics um, from his song Golden Years I thought would be perfect for um, my title. So I used my Cricut to draw the word golden and then I colored it in with alcohol markers and then I used a black sharpie pen actually to write years. I used it to do the golden too and then beneath it in a brown pen I wrote um, gold and then wop 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 because that's the lyrics. Above that, I have my journaling. Um, I wrote that with my Cricut in a gray pen. And as you can see now, I am attaching some embellishments. This little butterfly is from Coco Vanilla Studio Happy Days. I thought it would work well for this layout. Um, the papers that I was using and the colors. I wanted to stick with a fairly neutral um, theme. The, my mom's wedding colors when they got married way back in the day um was like whites and yellows and like very 70s right so um I kind of wanted to stick with that and I thought the muted colors and the pattern papers that I used were perfect for that the giant floral image that you saw on that other um on the journal card that I was creating was also cut with my Cricut on the photo which I printed at home it measures six by four inches and I converted it to black and white before printing it um, I'm attaching a heart die cut that come in the happy days collection as well and then I'm adding a phrase sticker um, over top of that which says as you can see what a lovely day we my sister and I decided that to celebrate um, our parents anniversary we would take them out for Japanese um, and it actually happens to be my sister-in-law's birthday on the same day. So we celebrated my parents' wedding anniversary and Jesse's birthday all in one. And we ended up at a, a Japanese barbecue in downtown Edmonton. And it was fantastic. Um, it really was a lovely day. So I'm also adding some of the puffy stickers from Happy Days as well. And then with that done, by the way, I used liquid glue to attach most everything to just um, for added insurance that things are not going to move in the future, hopefully. To finish my layout off, I pulled out my trusty clear shimmer pen again, and I'm just adding a little bit of sparkle to the center of the flowers. And once I have that all done, this layout is 100% complete. I hope you enjoyed my video today. I hope my layout inspired you. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and a like. And 
I'll be back again soon with more creative inspiration. Bye, friends.